Hey, how's it going? <clears throat> so here I am, um, recording a video after a little bit of a break. Um, that's not a hashtag um, or a video response. This one actually is to share a little bit about my um, experiences this month um, visiting with spirit. Um, I had posted on, I have posted, it's still there, on my Instagram, the picture of um, a blanket that um, I found at a thrift store. So I thought maybe I'd take the opportunity here to tell you a little less story. And with my story, you can take what works and um, use it to communicate with spirit your own way. So this happened uh, last week. And I was out and about um, driving around for work. My job has um, a certain driving component um, as part of it. And while I was driving around, I, um, I clearly heard a thought in my head that was not my own. And um, prior to hearing that thought in my head that was not my own, um, I had been um, meditating upon my mom, my mom's spirit and wanting my mom to visit. And um, so out of the blue, I'm driving around, um, going from one appointment to the next. I had a little break in between, like a one hour kind of um, break between appointments. And I heard a thought in my head that was not my own, out of blue, in a, in a neighborhood that, whatever, right? Um, that wouldn't have triggered that thought anyway. And it was, um, let's go to Goodwill. And my first thought was, we don't have Goodwill here. Um, so then, um, it was clearly my mom and she said, well, what do you have? If you don't have goodwill, do you have Salvation Army? So I replied, well, yeah, we do. And all this is like, uh, it, the message I'm receiving, the communication from my mom is coming through as thoughts, um, words, which I normally don't think in words. This is how I could tell when a thought is mine or not. I think in pictures. But when I'm receiving messages from spirit, I think in words. So, so my thought was, yeah, there was a Salvation Army in the vicinity of where I was, but I never had very much luck there. And, and um, I lost myself in the moment. And I had this whole conversation with my mom in the car, my mom's spirit in the car about yeah I don't want to go and like just you know uh, it's got to be practical it has to be something I can use it's like yeah that's who I am it has to be practical it has to be something I can use I'm not gonna buy some random thing because it kind of reminds me of you kind of thing so in other words what I was pressing for was I wanted to be impressed you know it had to it had to wow me it had to really strike as yeah this is no this is not contrived this is an actual message from spirit and it's actually an actual gift from spirit and it's an actual it had to be something that was indisputably my mom while i'm having this conversation with my mom's spirit and you know i'm actually speaking aloud in my car because well who doesn't talk to themselves in their car right and her messages are coming through in words um, that I'm, I'm thinking in words. Um, there's a little, there's a little interruption there and there's my, and I can sense my dad's energy. And my dad and I, when he was alive, we had a very difficult relationship and, um, thankfully I've been able to, um, work on that since he's, since he died. Um, so he interjected. Now my parents were not together, so already it's like a very bizarre situation for me. I'm in my car, I'm receiving messages from my mother's spirit, I'm receiving messages from my father's spirit. And as an only child of parents who were divorced when I was four, it was a very bizarre. Um, it, was already, it was already bizarre, it was even more bizarre to have them both present at the same time. 
So reluctantly, I pulled into the nearest Salvation Army, which I've never had any luck finding anything of um, anything practical or any anything at all there. I don't think I've. I think I. I don't. I'm not even sure I've purchased. I've ever purchased anything there. I've gone in many, many times and and just, you know, no luck. So not expecting anything and. Walking around a little bit in the days, puzzled by both my mother and my father's spirit present at the same time, um, and they weren't arguing, because although my parents were divorced when I was very, very young, um, my dad continued to visit my mom, uh, who was uh, institutionalized up almost up until um, the very end of his life, up until he lived. In the, in the vicinity, he visited her regularly. But anyway, that's not, that's not a story for here. Let's, t let's go back to my um, experience. So I walk into this thrift store and we all have, like, you know, a lot of, like, anyways, I'll get on, let me just tell the story and then I'll talk about, you know, um, other stuff that's kind of related, but not. I walked into the store and it was a very busy, like it was, the store was very busy. And I just did my usual browse. I checked out books, which is what I always do. So I checked out books. I looked at the books and then I walked towards the craft section, which normally I don't look at stuff like yarn and whatever. That's my daughter's expertise. Me, it's like I, I'm a little overwhelmed by all this. Uh, this random stuff when it comes to craft supplies um, and there there was a woman that was um, clearly an employee of um, or a volunteer of Salvation Army store and she was arranging some things and she says hello to me and she says oh I think what you're looking for is over there and I'm like okay so I walked over to over there and over there happened to be a rack with like blankets hanging on it. I think they were blankets or scarves. I couldn't even make out what it was. Just textiles. And hanging on that rack was a hand knitted, a handmade blanket um, that could have been, could have easily have been something my mom made. My mom had a very specific artistic style as most artists do and um, she had a specific and, and, and her color palette that she worked with the, the color palette she worked with was always kind of um, all I could say was typical of her like she had a specific color palette she liked to work with she liked to she really liked to mix um, colors that don't necessarily go together and um, as a whole um, would make something quite striking and uh, memorable. So I pulled this blanket off the rack and it looks like something that my mom easily would have been something my mom would have made. So I take it. Like I, I was instantly drawn to it. I felt it here. It was and yeah, and it was very, it was the first time ever that I um, had that experience with something so, um, so exactly like her, is all I could say. And I was ready to leave with that. That was good enough. And she said, no, no, wait. And then I felt my dad's presence saying, no, no, wait. You said, okay, this, so, and of course my, my thought in my mind was, this is practical. It's a blanket. And I've been wanting to make a blanket. Uh, I actually have been working on a blanket, but it's not going to be ready like anytime soon because I'm so busy um, for the foot of my bed. Anyway, no, no, we're not done yet. Both of them, say, both of them say in my mind. So I went over to um, home home stuff like you know kitchen dishes that kind of stuff, and I do a little browse, and I don't don't say anything that interests me um, and I'm about to leave that area and then for whatever I, reason I doubled back 
And the first thing I saw was this, was this mug. Now, okay, glare, okay, was this mug. This is extremely, also typical of something that my mom would have made. Um, it's characteristic of her, her style and what she likes, and especially the owl with, you know, the mama or the daddy owl and the little owl is definitely something that my mom would have um, purchased for me and it stood out it was strange it was like in a table of all kinds of stuff this stood out like uh, like there was a spotlight on it so I bought it so I took it uh, I, ha I haven't checked out of the store yet and I have to tell you, this thing, this thing still blows my mind because I've never seen anything like it. It's probably a mass-produced thing that I just don't know about. Um, but it's the art style, the color palette, again, very, um, very my mom. So I'm almost done, and I'm still in like the homeware stuff and. I figure, okay, I'm gonna go check out, see the other stuff in the store, or whatever. But I'm not, I'm not really feeling it. And just as I'm walking, I'm just, just as I'm walking away, like just getting ready to check out, I was like pretty, pretty impressed with the mug and the blanket. I saw a set of four bowls that match um, my set. I have uh, a vintage Corel. Um, spring flower or or crazy daisy or something I think it has two names it's a corral with the little green flowers around the edges of the plates anyways I have like the full set plus whatever you know whenever I see it anywhere I always pick up extra, extra pieces and because th these were the dishes that my parents had when I was little uh, and that my dad had for many years until he got you know he passed them on to me because he wanted to get something modern anyway that's neither here nor there let's go um, so there they were uh, four bowls that match my dish set which you know it's not really easy to find I gotta tell you that it's uh, very few and far between like when I find it it's like a big deal and a passable that matches my set that my dad gave me 20 something years ago I don't have it here to show you because that, that's not the point of this, but I did go on and on. It has to be practical. I'm not, you know, it can't just be some random thing that, oh yeah, that reminds me of you because if it's not practical, then I'm not impressed. And yeah, well, <sighs> so it's stuff, a blanket, a mug, and Four, four bowls plus five if you count the pasta bowl. I go to the, I go to the till and it all rings in like way under twenty dollars. And um, I have to say, the validation that they were in fact present, that I wasn't just okay. Well, maybe I'm a little crazy, but. But you know what I mean? Like it was that validation that they were act their spirit was actually present. That validation that I actually did feel them near me, that I did hear their words in my thoughts, or I did, you know, I did see their words in my thoughts, or however I can't even describe how I do it. And the fact that I, you know, I reluctantly went into a store that I never find anything ever, even though I've been in there like I don't know how many times over the years. these items for me are they're, they're just things but they are a testament they are proof of spirit communication and that the people that we love and the people and the people the people that we love that we have lost are always always with us and that love love is beyond space and time and it's and it's possible to um which i'm not going to go into this video because i did have a very difficult relationship very complicated and difficult relationship with my father that it is possible to heal relationships even after someone's no longer living it takes work it takes 
um, it takes a lot of um, accepting things as they were and being okay with that and being able to move on but it is possible so that's my um, that's my spirit communication story I wasn't expecting this year to be so uh, parent heavy or parent focused um, I never know from year to year like what what will occur in November in terms of who will contact me um, of course as part of my personal spiritual practice I always um, you know um, meditate on uh, spirit and spirit communication and all this stuff and but there's something different between me initiating and them initiating and um, that's that's where when they initiate that's where you feel validated for all the times that you've initiated so now that I've shared my story with you, I think um, in a, in the next video, or uh, not not next, like you know, right away kind of thing, because uh, it's going to take a little bit of um, preparation on my part. Um, I will be recording a video where um, I talk a little bit about how to connect with spirit and um, the different things, how to connect with spirit, where to connect with them, like through, um, through what, what plane, like, you know, there's connecting with them on the astral, there's, um, there's connecting with them in dreams, which is kind of the astral, but not exactly, um, how to receive messages, how to know you've received a message, um, asking them for gifts and all that stuff so yeah I think um, I just I'm just gonna need a little time to prepare for it but I wanted to share this I wanted to share my story um, with all of you because it um, it affected me quite profoundly um, it I felt um, joy uh, from that experience and it was a sustained um, it wasn't just a, a hit, like, you know, oh my gosh, that's so cool, look at this blanket, look at this mug, look at these, you know, it was, that joy was sustained for quite some time, and that's saying a lot for me, because I, I have mentioned in the past in other videos that I do rev a little melancholy, so for me to experience sustained joy over a prolonged period of time, uh, a sense of, of lightness uh, is quite... It's, it's quite the feat. Um, anyway, so that's it for this video. Um, please, if you have had any experiences, oh my gosh, um, I love sharing my stories. But the whole part of sharing my stories that I love the most is that it elicits stories from other people. So please, if you have a story, share it in the comments. Um, if you've been watching me for a little while and you posted or you just met me and stuff like that um, and you left messages or comments on other videos, I am very, very far behind in um, responding to comments. I'm even more behind in watching other people's videos. It's just that it got really um, a little busy for me this month and it's only going to get busier um, well into early next year so I will do my best but know that if you've left a comment under one of my videos I have read it and I am extremely grateful I love 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 interacting with you all in this medium and um, I will do my best to um, to at least acknowledge um, that I read your comments and I really appreciate them. So please, if you have a spirit um, communication, a spirit encounter, any kind of um, experience um, that you wanna share in the comments, please do. If you are making a video, 
please um, comment below that you're making a video about it so th and that or that you've made a video and you've uploaded or you've already have one and let me know about it so I can come and watch your video. Thank you so much for coming by today and I wish you all a beautiful day.